Hey, thanks everyone for being here. Um, sorry I couldn't show my face. Apparently, I don't have enough bandwidth. But um, I'm I flew into San Francisco um, today and uh, had to find a cafe to kind of do this from. So apologies for the noise in the background. Uh, my name is Patrick Stanley. I'm the head of growth at Blockstack, and I'm going to talk about app mining for a few minutes. Um, so what app mining is is uh, essentially it's a it's a game uh, that accelerates the creation of apps. So in traditional mining, you'd add computation and, uh, and, 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 and I guess like in effect security to a network like Bitcoin, for example, um, in, order to, in order to add value and then uh, get paid. In the block stack ecosystem, you, uh, you know, I think Ken went over uh, one form of mining. The other, the other sort, of, uh, sort of layer two, quote unquote, mining that we do here is app mining. And so what happens is each month, applications um, register for app mining and existing ones continue to compete in it. And they're all stacked rank in a, like a universal ranking um, dependent, on, um, dependent on our app reviewers, essentially. So every month, people get paid out. So you can see in app mining rank, number one is Dmail. And their payout, I think the numbers are a little uh, like a dollar off, but their payout uh, is $20,000. They immediately went to, they immediately uh, became the number one ranked app in this mechanism. Um, and are starting starting to take on a lot of money um, during the pilot phase, which we are currently sort of exiting. And you can see Graphite number three um, had earned, you know, twelve thousand dollars in the last month, and but lifetime they've earned over a hundred thousand dollars. So pretty pretty great. And you can see on the bottom uh, left side of the the slide, you see kind of the growth in apps. In May and June, we really accelerated the growth in apps. Um, we're we're closing in on 100 i think 130 registered apps for app mining so i need to update this slide um, so apologies in advance and um, and the the rate at which apps are growing is 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 accelerating so you might ask like okay how does this actually work and what does the future of this look like um so right now we have we have a handful of app reviewers that have their own specialized sort of way of ranking apps. So the first one is Product Hunt. And what they do is they rank you based on your, your product launch and the community upvotes and activity from that. The second one is Try My UI. It's similar to usertesting.com. Um, but in this case, every app gets 10 videos of, of uh, users around the world who have some familiarity with like the concept of what your app's trying to do. And they give you feedback and they essentially assess it on different dimensions of usability. The third app reviewer is a Wario, and essentially ranks, it ranks apps based on how much they're being talked about on social media and in the news. And for the time being, we do our best job to, to um, prevent sort of gaming in, in this one uh, that you would, you would expect to, to occur. And it's been working pretty well. And the fourth one is New Internet Labs. So this app reviewer ranks based on um, to what extent folks are using Blockstack tools. And in essence, the more Blockstack tools you use, the more likely you are to create sort of a, uh, the more likely you are to sort of protect people's fundamental digital rights. That's like, you use the whole Blockstack stack, you're getting extremely close to creating a, creating an, creating a solution for people that um, has like sort of unbreakable fundamental digital rights. So like the right to have, own your own ID, the right to own your own data, the right to communicate to your friends freely without any third parties, um, kind of looking over it. And so you'll notice the payout for this month is $200,000. So half that is in Bitcoin currently, the other half is in stacks, um, the native, the native uh, token for uh, block stack. The payouts are going to, the payouts are going to go up to uh, $500,000 in November, $750,000, um, I believe in February. And then uh, in May, they'll go up to a million dollars per month. And that'll be all on stacks tokens. And one comment I'd make is um, the whole app mining uh, sort of game was developed by developed in part with the Blockstack community, Blockstack PVC, as well as game theorists from NYU and Princeton. And I think uh, when we first got started, when we first started out, we had a white paper. That was, I think it's like 13 pages. And it, it's pretty easy reading, especially. It's pretty easy reading, but if you enjoy game theory or you enjoy just just uh, mechanism design, um, it's a it's a fun read. Um, 
I think we've evolved very much from that white initial white paper. Sorry, excuse the noise in the background. I think we've evolved a lot from that initial white paper to where we are today. And our um, developer satisfaction score has doubled, I think from, I believe it's like around 33% to 63% uh, in terms of um, folks who would be very disappointed, not just disappointed, um, if app money got taken away from them. So we're improving the process always. And, and so far, it's been directionally very, um, very accurate in terms of ranking apps and has been like a really good uh, sort of spring of growth. So you'll see like over the eight month run during the pilot where we're just paying out 100,000 a month in just Bitcoin, not stacks uh, for the time being, we nearly 10 X uh, the number of apps uh, in app mining. And we expect that growth to actually accelerate. Um, I'll answer questions right at the end, uh, which I'm pretty close to. Um, and so developers are developing all sorts of apps. They're developing you know, password managers, productivity tools. They're creating um, you know, blogs where you own your own data, own your own identity, and you can find other people um, um, on the same blog, kind of like a decentralized medium. We also have people like recently <laughs> someone sent me an app that allows you to log in and write a message to the Bitcoin blockchain on um, as hosted by a Blockstream satellite. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, so people are really experimenting, and it's really attracting a lot of like the most intellectually curious people from all walks of life. Whether it's like people are into game theory or they're just into kind of building apps that can't be evil, quote unquote. And um, I think the community is expanding really quickly around this. And um, and so yeah, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to bump it up to a million dollars per month in May of next year. We're taking sort of a measured measured approach in how we. Um, how we introduce um, new app reviewers, how we sort of prevent um, bribery, gaming, collusion, things like that. We're just trying to stay very steady and build something kind of bigger than ourselves um, in this regard. So um, all in all, we're really excited. Um, I think the, the ways to get started with app mining is you can take the one hour um, uh, sort of uh, tutorial. All you need to know is JavaScript essentially and you build your app, integrate BlockStack off, and that's like that's the minimum, the minimum uh, kind of viable product for um, app mining, an app that uses BlockStack off. Now you can improve your ranking by adding more of the BlockStack um, sort of um, technical stack, or sorry, using the developer tools rather to preserve users' fundamental digital rights, and also um, improve the use. You know, you presumably you improve the user experience, which would increase your ranking. And so you can constantly compete and um, you'll, you'll always be in it as long as your app is functional and um, people are using it essentially. Um, we have some, and so this is just three steps. And so we have some big partnerships coming up. You'll see it in the news um, in mid-August, but um, we're going to have like a rapid influx of developers entering this game. And I kind of see the, the early folks of this game as like almost like the people who are I mean, to some extent, it's kind of like the people who uh, would have been like uh, early participants in, you know, Bitcoin or, or something like that. They kind of see the potential. They want to get behind building apps that that you know that can't be evil. I use that as like a as like a phrase as a hashtag. Um, you know, there's varying degrees of evilness you could you could do in in any regard. Um, but I guess like um, box stack apps themselves, um, they kind of they kind of create a guarantee between the developer and the user that the developer is not going to um, take users' private data and use it for any 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 wrongdoing or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's 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 kind of that's kind of that's kind of the whole thing. Um, is, are there any questions I can answer? And wherever you choose to uh, store that raw transaction data, if that's lost or changed, is it gone? Uh, uh, I'm so the per, the, all that? that personal, all that data that you've been using in the app that's not stored on chain, if if uh, where the if server crashes or uh, it's someone you change something about the raw transaction data. Okay, uh, I think I can answer that for you, Patrick. So uh, your personal data is not stored on chain. It's, I know. Right. So uh, your. But what if it's gone? Uh, what, if, if, wherever I store it, it's gone. So, so there are <laughs> solutions on wherever you choose to store it to back up that data. Um, 
Yeah, so most cloud storage solutions have some sort of backup system. And uh, we're not, um, in the future, there might be a system uh, on Gaia directly that allows you to store your data in multiple locations for redundancy. That's, that would be the solution. Any more questions? I have a question. Um, can we go back to the slides where Patrick have um, stated like about a stable of uh, income or uh, can you go back a couple slides? Uh, I yeah, think, sure. Uh, I think maybe slide four or five. Slide five, please. Um, five. Sure. Yeah. This one? Yeah. So I'm just curious um, how this number come up for um, one million in that sense, like, because we're talking about future. Just curious if you can elaborate yeah, about that. Yeah, 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 of course. I think um, I think there's a few things. First of all, um, app mining has has kind of passed our, um, our kind of sniff test uh, of its efficacy. And so, um, you know, we wanted to, we wanted to put more fuel into the system and i think offering a million dollars i mean like first of all we picked a million dollars because it's a nice round number and over a 12-month period it fits within the regulatory uh framework that we've created we intend we intend to move past that and beyond that um kind of prior to those 12 months ending and potentially even uh, offer more um sort of rewards and money per month um, should should app mining continue to prove to be um, directionally successful? Um, on the yeah, so on on the on the one million dollars, I think uh, Stacks token is being sold right now, and a reggae offering for thirty cents a token. So this is like you know roughly three tokens and some change um, per dollar. And um, yeah, as I mentioned, this is like falls under the regulatory framework of what we're able to get out. And right now, um, right now, we're manually sending these payments out. But there's a world where we shift over um, to automatic payments directly from the blockchain. If app mining is structured in a way where the where it's it's very hard to hack in in a similar way that um, Bitcoin is very hard to hack. Like if you were to hand it over to your enemies, they still couldn't mess with it, for example. And so. Until we reach that point, we're going to manually be paying it out. And um, but generally, um, just add one more thing. Generally, generally we feel that um, giving out stack payments, like the native the native token of Blockstack, the people that are contributing the most to the app layer, um, is a generally good thing. And so we we intend to just get better and better at it. Can I ask another question? So, um, as a Art. user, I just want to know how um, the money involved in terms of user, um, the app developer, and and your company. Like how how the money generated among. Uh, maybe you can give me a little bit more background on that, please. So sure. So um, the stacks tokens, stacks tokens um, are are generated along an issuance schedule. And the way they're generated um, is through the sort of type of mining that Ken was describing earlier. That's the main way they're generated. Prior to that, we are um, manually paying out stack tokens from effectively a designated treasury that was, um, that was carved out under, um, under uh, the, reg the regulation a plus issuance that uh, was approved by the SEC. We're the first project approved by the SEC to do such a thing for um, for a token. And so there is essentially a, um, a pot of money that's going directly to app developers that's carved out from that. And I think I, th I mean there are there by the time the sale concludes, there will be thousands of stakeholders in the ecosystem who hold on to stacks tokens and. My 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 um, my understanding is, uh, for the next six to twelve months, before um, traditional mining gets turned on, pretty much the only way to get 
um, stacks tokens aside from purchasing them directly on an exchange is to build apps and earn them through app mining. Cool. Uh, any more questions about app mining specifically? Uh, yeah, I, I have a question. Um, what are the most popular apps or what you see? Well, maybe you can see what will be the most popular apps in the future. Yeah, that's a good question. So right now the most popular app, well, I don't know, I, don't, I, don't, I think this month just closed. I don't have the final results for this month. The last month, um, you let's play on this. Month, the most popular app I believe was Dmail, which is which is like a it's not kind of like an email that uses it doesn't use SMTP, but what it does is it allows you to send messages in a very familiar sort of email format um, directly from BlockSec user to BlockSec user without any third party in between, including the client software that you're using. So that's a team out of uh, out of Egypt. And out of a region like that, it's especially sort of noteworthy as they had like you know Arab Spring and all that, um, so they ended up getting some some press out of that. Um, I think people like it. I think Graphite has long for a long time has been like one of the top apps. That's number three right now. They're a replacement for uh, Google Docs, and um, with all with all the with all the kind of uh, guarantees and security that BlockStacks. Architecture and and uh, sort of developer tool uh, sort of developer uh, sort of like app infrastructure uh, offers. So like you own your own docs, send it to people, send it to the friends you know on the network. No one can take those docs away from you. No one can censor you, et cetera, et cetera. The Patreon number four is a um, is a replacement for Patreon. Um, one of the core principles it has is that you will never lose your followers. So like you know Patreon can deplatform people should. Should you know? Um, I mean, you, you, you guys, you, you all might have seen uh, Sam Harris, a podcaster, um, leave Patreon preemptively because he wanted to avoid potentially being deplatformed from them in the uh, from the first place and having to build his follower base from the ground up and have to restore all the, that revenue he would have that he he had lost. And so, yeah, Patreon is like a perfectly acceptable uh, replacement for him, um, especially. If he's doing a lot of his payments in uh, Bitcoin or cryptocurrency, um, I think what we're going to end up seeing in the future is, um, especially with the launch of our our uh, smart contract language, is people developing more apps that involve smart contracts, so, so like decentralized exchanges, like all, stuff stuff you may already be familiar with in the cryptocurrency space, centralized exchanges, stable coins, things like that. But I'm more excited. For, for in my in my in my take, like I'm more excited for apps that are built and that use um, that kind of help ex that kind of helps support app mining itself. So like anything anything that helps um, helps people join and leave teams very fluidly while capturing the full amount of their value and uh, amount of the value they contributed toward app mining for that for that time being. I think would be a great app to build. Um, that way, you can essentially ride the wave of all the developers that are rapidly joining app mining and provide a tool that is directly relevant for them and helping them compete against uh, against other folks to add value to the ecosystem. That that that, that last one is kind of something I'm sort of excited for. Uh, 